ओके गणपति हवामहे कवि कवीनामुपम्रवसम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पत आन शुन्वन्नूतिशीलसाजन ओ श्री महागणाधिपत नम ओ तद्विष्णो परम पय सदा पश्य सोरय दिवि वचक्षुरात ृषम चर्षणीना विश्वदाभ्यं बृहस्पतिं वरेण्यं ओ श्री ह्री दक्षिणमूर्त नम ओ विवृष्टे हरे राम कृष्ण ओ हरे राम कृष्ण ओ हरे राम कृष्ण हरे राम कृष्ण ओ हरे राम कृष्ण विवंशे ओं पराशराय नम ओ पराशराय नम ओ पराशराय नम ओ पराशराय नम ओ पराशराय नम Okay, we are in BP Hetel. We are in chapter 33. Uh, we are in verse 85. Kevale cha kuje tatra jata kuntra sadhara ka ha swamseva pancha me swancha chandre jo samsitta uya sada prantha karta bhave jata ha sarva vidya visharada ha tatra dekhe guru kinchi. Kinchi dona grantha karo bhave. I think we did something like this before also. पर्सन विल बी केवल केवल कुजे तत्र कुंतास्त्रधारक वट इज कुंतास्त्र वट इज कुंता राइट बी वेरिंग ए वेपन वेपन लाइक एस पी एल देन स्वाम से ओके एक्चुअली बिफोर वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन विल वाई मार्स विल गिव स्पे स्पीयर Yeah, basically aggression. It's basically, uh, in the case of the Nirvijja, which is mentioned for Saturn, you are you are at a distance. You are not basically doing hand 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 to hand battle. You are at a distance, and you need to have the right target. You need to be patient. So Saturn will show attacking the enemy with patience, patience, and not necessarily hand to hand combat. Whereas Sun and Mars, being the Kshatriya planets and fiery planets. they will show more aggression they will show more hand to hand battle hand to hand combat so it can be things like sword things like spear things like the what we call in telugu ballam so all those things where you are yeah your shield is the one with which you shield but i don't know what this is called the ballam spear spear right okay then kuntai is spear so spears and uh, swords etc they are basically standing face to face and trying to kill the person Whereas for Saturn the word used was Dhanur Vidya. So basically you are standing at a distance, not necessarily hand and combat. So standing at a distance, you are focusing and you you have to have the right target. So you need to be patient. So Saturn shows the skill of patience and uh, focus, discipline. Whereas Mars shows aggression, jumping into jumping in the middle of the enemy. The next one is Swamseva Panchame Swancha Swamseva Panchame Swan Swancha Chandra Jo Sanchita Udala Swamseva Panchame Swancha. Either in the Swamseva Tarakamsa or in the fifth house from there. Chandra Jo Sanchita Udala Chandra Jo Chandra Ijja. 
కష్టే కష్టం ఏదో ఇది ఇఫ్ మూన్ అండ్ జూపిటర్ ఇఫ్ మూన్ అండ్ జూపిటర్ ఆర్ ప్లేస్ ఇన్ ద స్వాంస కార్కాంస ద ఫిస్ట్ వస్తాం దెన్ వాట్ గ్రంథకర్త భవే జాత సర్వ విద్యా విశారద దెన్ ద పర్సన్ విల్ బికమ్ గ్రంథకర్త మీన్స్ విల్ రైట్ బుక్స్ భవే జాత ద బాన్ పర్సన్ సతే బాన్ పర్సన్ విల్ బికమ్ గ్రంథకర్త సర్వ విద్యా విశారద he will know he will have scholarship in all kinds of knowledge so he'll be he will be famous he will be very knowledgeable and he will become a writer a celebrated writer tatra daitya guru kinchi dona granth karo bhave if shivena is there also he'll be a writer but as a little less caliber so moon and jupiter combination will make the best writer then is this budhe tatra tato budhe tatra కావ్యజ్ఞాయితే he will be kavi poet vagmi eloquent kavyagna means one who is well versed in literature who understands the style literary style so somebody who is very knowledgeable in literature or somebody who who is a poet now please note that this doesn't mean moon and jupiter are the karakas for writing books and venus is secondary karaka and mercury is the tertiary karaka that's not true mercury is still the karaka but the but the issue is they are saying moon and jupiter are fifth house or first house from karga and the person will be famous so this is basically just talking about the fame from the even though the fame is mentioned from the writing it's not necessary that it is from writing it's basically fame moon and jupiter in the fifth from karga and the issue is somebody who is famous and venus will also show fame less compared to moon and jupiter and mercury will also show fame but even less and as far as poetry is concerned the karka is venus if venus is there he will show fame probably through poet poetry because earlier he said grandhakarta what kind of writing is not and it may be a literary kind of grantha or it may be a an essay it may be a realistic exposition of what is happening uh, you can write granthas on various matters it can be a spiritual grantha a, a book on how to worship god it can be a book like for example gospel of ramakrishna it can be a book like uh, kalidasas uh, magazine edition right there are different books magazine edition is a different book gospel of ramakrishna is a different book like that when you say ah oh, it can be autobiography of a yogi like that books are of different styles so the thing is based on the nature of the planet you can guess what kind of literature the person will produce but more importantly the first guidance was in terms of fame in terms of being well known so moon and jupiter will make the best uh, will make the person most well known then venus and then mercury it should be common moon venus or moon mercury he didn't say that so obviously it is only venus moon and jupiter is the best then venus then mercury the next the next one is sarva vidyanthe ko jeeve navagni satya sabhadishu shabda gnasya visheshena veda vedanta vittatha sarva vidyanthe ko jeeve jeeve means if jupiter is there in the fifth house then sarva vidyanthe ko he is very well he knows everything he has perfect understanding krantika means he writes books or he may be he knows about books he is he is very learned in bookish knowledge as well as he has a very fine understanding navagni ke sabhadeshu but he is not eloquent in assemblies of people he is not very eloquent tadagnasya visheshena veda vedanta vidtatha chatagnaha means he knows what are what are the right words to use how to use words he knows he he knows the theory of words he is a good grammarian he knows grammar meter and all these factors so 
so he's not able to speak eloquently in the middle of a crowd but he knows everything so this is somebody who is very knowledgeable but not necessarily eloquent in in, in terms of speaking in, in front of people veda vedanta vit katha he knows vedas and vedanta so he has very fine and deep understanding but he is not necessarily a good communicator so that is the thing with jupiter why well jupiter is the planet of fine understanding now why jupiter doesn't show somebody who is eloquent not necessarily i mean this is i don't think paraja is saying this means he will not be eloquent this means he may or may not be eloquent even jupiter can give eloquence depending on the nature of jupiter and depending on other influences on jupiter but the thing is whether the person is eloquent or not the person will be learned he will have fine understanding that's basically what he say that is the other thing also when you know too much there are people who know a lot the thing is when you are telling somebody you have to be you have to be compassionate enough to understand their mindset unless you identify with the other person and get into the brain of the other person and have some feel for what the other person knows and how the other person thinks you will just go go on the top of the head people won't understand what you are saying so there are a lot of people who are extremely learned but they don't know how to be understood by people who don't know how to come down to the level of people so that is palatable to them speak the language that they understand so that is also possible so that ability will be given by who mercury that is why he said earlier also paramahansa is born with mercury in the fifth from karakamsha meaning somebody who can associate with anybody and make them understand anything even the most complicated kind of thing knowledge you can basically explain it thing is bottom line is the most complicated kind of knowledge can never be understood by reading or listening to somebody so the finest knowledge will only come if you are experienced there's no other way but the trick is when people like ramakrishna come see the doctor she speaks people don't many people say i don't understand what he's saying for example i i gave somebody want somebody want with a sai baba devotee she reads sada sai baba book she wanted to expand her understanding she asked me can i can i can you suggest some other book i said read ramakrishna then there was somebody else in the room she said ram maharshi is very good please ram maharshi book because that person is interested by ram maharshi i said yeah you can try ram maharshi but my feeling is you will like ramakrishna more so she took uh, some book by ram maharshi she read for a few days and she came back and said she said i don't like this book because he says ali is god ali is god ali is god ali is brahma ali is brahma of course it is true but the thing is this lady she has the attitude of getting the uh, getting the choicest flowers asking sai baba to give her she thinks that the sai baba which is real there is a real person there she offers flowers and she takes good care of her she is happy that way and he is saying in one in one paragraph in ram maharshi's book he says oh you want to flowers and offer them to god who flowers are you cutting there are gods in it as a matter of fact the flower is also a god and the and the picture is god flower is god who are you what are you offering to who is all nonsense like that there was on tate she was very offended she is like what do you mean flower is god no it is flower i give it to god this this is god so the thing is but somebody of that nature what ron was she said doesn't it is not palatable she basically can't she's not sorry even though what he said is the highest truth the point is repeating the highest truth if you can't understand whereas people like ramakrishna they would basically use simple parables simple stories simple metaphors and he will use very rusty language so even an idiot will understand what he is saying but the thing is like i was saying the real knowledge is only experience it is not really intellectually understood but the thing is people feel good when you explain them really nice uh, concept using a simple language people feel good about it and they feel happy they think that they understand so that is the thing with people with a mercury influence if mercury is influencing the system karakamsha they will be able to create that feeling in people that they understand something even though whether they may or may not understand even the complicated concepts can be dumb down so that anybody can relate to them whereas if is jupiter he will not compromise he will basically it will be interesting to actually check ram maharshi's thought because i mean if i say this obviously ram maharshi's devotees will be very unhappy with me but he wasn't really eloquent he was he was eloquent in a in the sense that people who are distinct to understanding could understand what he said and he said the highest truths that were told 
in like hey, ever on earth in the last few hundred years. So that way he is a great teacher, but most of the time he talked through silence. He didn't really teach using words. And secondly, many of his teachings will not be understood by common men. 95% of people in India or world, they won't understand what he is saying. His teachings are only for the 5% people. So, it will be interesting to see, but he was, he had a, he had the most perfect understanding. And he was a Veda Vedanta with, like, like he said here, Sabdaknaha, Sarvavit, so all that applies. So, it will be interesting to see if Ramaharshi, for example, has a combination like this. So, anyway, if Jupiter is there, he has fine understanding, very subtle understanding, but he may not be able to express it, so that people can understand. The next one is, Sabha jado bhave balaha, Ukta sthana gate shano, Meeman sako bhave noona mukta sthana gate budho budhe, Sabha jado bhave balaha, Ukta sthana gate shano. If the fifth house from Karakamsha, if the first house or fifth house from Karakamsha contains satan, then the person will be Sabhajada means one who doesn't move in the assembly, means one who basically freezes in the assembly, who can't say anything. So in, a, in, in other words, in the case of Jupiter, it's not like the person doesn't know any, anything. He says something, but he may or may not be understood by people. With Saturn, he doesn't say anything. He freezes. He's like, uh, mm, 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 it's like that. So he's unable to express himself. He's very scared to express himself or he doesn't find the right word. And that makes perfect sense because Saturn means Saturn is a very dark planet of darkness, planet of soul. So he gives patience and discipline to do sadhana. But the thing is, when you are speaking, what you need is communicating ability, not patience and discipline. So he is not really well cut for communicating. So Saturn will make a person sabhajada. <coughs> he may have the knowledge, but the thing is, he may have discipline needed for experience. But the thing is, when it comes to interesting people, he will not be able to interest. So, the difference between Jupiter and Saturn is very fine because Jupiter is wisdom, he knows... Saturn doesn't ensure perfect knowledge. Saturn only ensures that you have the discipline to... you have the discipline and austerity needed for sadhana. Whereas Jupiter ensures that you have knowledge. Whether you have discipline or not, you have knowledge. You have a very fine understanding. With Saturn, you may or may not have understanding, but you have... you are... Uh, yeah, you are capable of doing sadhana. See, the thing is, at the end of the day, the sadhana ensures that you become learned. Not necessarily. For somebody, Vishnu sadhana may be enough. For somebody, Vishnu sadhana may be needed. So that depends on your previous karmas. For some people, the fine understanding comes so easily. It becomes natural, second nature to them since a young age. For some people, how, however much they may try, they are so deeply stuck in the maya that the perfect knowledge doesn't come to them. So, the ability to do sadhana doesn't mean understanding. But such a person will be hard working and will do sadhana. Mimam sako bhavenno na mukta sthana kate budhe If Mithri is there, then the person will be Mimam sata. What is Mimam sata? Yeah, analysis. Logic and analysis. So basically Mimamsa means this happens, so this, this, like that basically all analysis. So he will be a great analyst. He'll, he can do basically a lot of theory, theoretician basically. If he is there, he is a theoretician. Now he is coming to the various uh, darshanas. So Mirkri will show Mimamsa. Earlier he also said Mirkri will make a person Paramahamsa. So somebody who can communicate very well. So those abilities are over, now he is talking about various darshanas. So Mirkri will give knowledge of Mimamsa, knowledge of the logic. Swamse va pancha me bho me jato nayayiko bhavet. If Mars is there, then he, he is learned in Nyaya Shastra. Chandreja Sankhya Yoga Gnaha, if Moon is there, he is, he is just Sankhya Yoga. Sahit Chagnasta ka ayakaha, also he knows literature and uh, singing, especially various fine arts. He is into Sankhya Yoga as well as Fine Arts. Ravo Vedanta Vichyaiva Gita Gnishya Praja Aite if, if Sun is there, he is a Vedanta with. He knows Vedanta. And also Gita Gnaha. He learns uh, singing etc. Ketu Jagnasya Jyotish Shastra Vichyaiva Ketu is there, he learns 
मैथमेटिक्स एंड ज्योतिष शास्त्र संप्रदाय से संसिधिर गुरु संबंध तो भवे इफ जुपिटर इन्फ्लुएंस केयर देन इलेंस ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज सो दिस इज ऑल द व्हाट इज ही सजेस्टिंग इज ऑल दिस थिंग्स लाइक वी मेंशन न्याय शास्त्र न्याय न्याय शास्त्र मीमांसा ऑल दिस थिंग्स संख्या वेदांत ऑल दिस कैन बी एक्सपैंडेड थ्रू वंस ओन थिंकिंग दैट इज नॉट डिजिटली रिजिड सब्जेक्ट इवन नो पीपल थिंक लाइक दैट और stick to tradition so jupiter's influence will make a person traditional will be traditional influence on his knowledge sti yeh to diye ja swamcha devam vicharaye bhave sukh phalam gratva jatak sapram vile bade dvitiye cha tritiye dvitiye cha tritiye cha swamcha devam vicharaye in the second house and third house from karakamsha also have these influences you can think the same way so he is actually going over the place so he think second house third house and fifth house from kamsha to see what subject the person will learn so what does it mean fifth house is the house of ability the recognition in the world so the the fifth house from karakamsha will show karakamsha is one sense of self and the fifth house is the recognition so the planet in the fifth house will influence how the person is recognized so people may say oh he is a great logician he is a great sankh yogi he is a great vedanti like that so fifth house from that point of view is important why second and third houses second house is what you speak it is a word of your speech also it is so and third house is the house of communicating so if you are a vedanta with you will probably be talking about vedanta in the world on the other hand if you are a sankhya we will be talking about sankhya how this world came into being what came first what what led to what you will be talking about it so the vedanti you will be talking about the illusion why how the whole world is an illusion how you can cut off everything saying this doesn't exist this is not real so so the thing is depending on what your approach is you will speak like that and you will communicate like that so the second and third houses are important from the point of view of what you communicate how you communicate and how famous are you for what you speak and what you what you are communicating so see apart from fifth second and third house are important to see this it is 11 from fifth but the thing is forget that if any planet is associated with third house it can show communicating and if the planet has another link with fame in the chart Fame is not necessarily from the fifth house from Karakamsha. Fame is from the fifth house from Lagna, right? So if a planet is in the third from Karakamsha, it shows Karakamsha shows the person's sense of self. This is me. His definition of this is me. So the third from there is one's sense of the the communicating ability of the sense of self in a person. So basically, if somebody is born. With a, with a sense that I am a communicator, I have to communicate. This is what I have to communicate. Suppose the soul is born with that sense of, for example, for all you know, when Vivekananda was born, he probably before he was born, he took the sankalpa. His soul basically said, "Okay, I have to go and teach Vivekananda to the whole world." <coughs> right? Similarly, when somebody is born, when Parmesan Jagannath was born, probably his soul decided even before birth, his soul basically clearly knew. I'm here. I'm not. My. I have to communicate. I'm the communicator. Period. About kriya, kriya yoga. I have to communicate about so and so thing. So if you want to understand these things, look at those people's charts. Look at D24, D20, the learning, spiritual pursuit, and more over D10, the work in the society. Look at those charts. See the third house and second house from Gar Kamsa. See what influences are standing out. so that, that will basically show that won't necessarily show whether the person will be famous or not it will basically show that the person will be communicator in so and so area the person will be a speaker in so and so area the person will have aptitude in so and so area because it shows his aptitude aptitude in so and so area the person will have obstacles to overcome in so and so area sixth house the person will have lot of interactions in so and so area seventh house like that you see Basically, the aspirations of the soul from YK, Atmagarka, not necessarily what happens on the ground. And then, if if a planet is in the third house, is also giving 
a yoga for fame from the lagna, then the person is probably going to be a famous, famous person. Right? Let's go to the next next word. Uh, the, the other line I, that I left out is Bhave Zukma Palam Gnatva Jadagasya Palam He is saying like this see in the Bhavas you see the subtle result and then you can tell the results of the negative. So this is a subtle result. This is basically aspirations that the soul is bringing to this life. When you take, take the Karakamsa. But Lagna is there. That is the ground reality. You mix all those. Ketau Swamsyad Keto Swamsyad Diyeva Truti Yesabdha Vagbhave Papa Drishte Vishesena Mano Vaktu Makshamaha Keto Swamsyad Diyeva Truti Yesabdha Vagbhave If in the second or third house from Karakamsa, if Ketu is there, the person will become Sabdha Vag, means Sabdha literally means stop, stop speech, means the person is unable to speak, he is unable to speak means he is, he doesn't speak for a long time. There are some kids who don't speak until they are six or seven. So speech problems or he may be stuttering. So there will be speech problems. Hmm? In second? In the second and third from Karakamsa. Papa Drishti, Jeshena, Mana, Vobakta, Makshamaha. If a male kid is expecting, it will be more so. It will be particularly, it will be the problem will be so acute that you can't mention how difficult the problem will be. So basically if a male figure is expecting problem is worsened. So K2 is the main planet for speech difficulty. When forget Karkamsa, I know one person, one kid, who has K2 in the second house. He has Samhalagna, K2 in Kanya. And he is like four and a half years old. He doesn't speak much. He just says Mama, Dada, like that. Just take a couple of words. He doesn't say, he, he can't speak. But the interesting thing is this kid ever since he was two years old, he is so much into Vedic knowledge. Whenever he, he hears somebody, particularly Ganapati Asarasisham, somebody sees Asarasisham or any Radha Mantra, Pushuktam, Sishuktam, he usually comes and sits. He is rapt attention, he loves it. But the thing is he is, he can't say it himself. And he, he can hum, he will say, suppose somebody wants, uh, he say, <laughs> then the person will say, Namaste, Ganapati, then he will say the next one. <laughs> then the person will say, Some ever. like that. He is actually leading, he is not copying. So he knows, he got the whole swara by heart. So he is saying the word in his mind, the speech in his mind, but it doesn't come out. So I know one kid like that. He knows so many Vedamantras. mantras. Even though he is only four, he knows Vedamantras. mantras. And he knows several like Namarama and Amitra. He knows the tune of it, the swaram he will say, but he can't. The exact word doesn't come out of the mouth. Now the thing is, maybe when he's seven years old, maybe at some age when he's quite old, suddenly he will get speech, suddenly all this will come like a water from, flood water especially. Suddenly he will start saying everything. So his parents are very worried. Maybe there's some speech defects, etc. But the thing is, I have seen cases like this where, forget Karkamsa, we have to actually study exactly what this Karkamsa thing means. We don't know for sure. Is it in the Trimshamsa? Probably. We have to study this, we have to do some research. But from the Lagna, if the second house is affected by Ketu, there is a strong likelihood of speech related problems. Because people have either speak very late or they start that. Yes. I think for example, it's also the K2 being in second. Second? Yeah. Uh, either late speakers or a like that. But the thing is, once they start speaking, they speak very clearly. Sputavak data. like it says in the K2, they speak very clearly. But the thing is, there is a lot of delay. There is deprival in the beginning, and once they start speaking, they speak very well. So, that is the problem with K2. K2 is a denier. He gives moksha wherever he is, whatever area of whichever thought he is will be outgoing, he will try to deprive the person of that. So... It should be more applicable with the Rashi, right? Because it is a speech is a physical thing. Speech is a physical thing. So it is more applicable in the Rashi. The example that I mentioned was Ketu in the second house in the Rashi chart. And unfortunately I believe... Actually, no, no, that's not true. Anyway. 
the Savas case to win his bana, something like that. Anyway, in your case, also you are talking about Ahija, right? Yeah. But the thing is, when he talks about, we'll stop here, we'll continue in the next slide, Parachara. When he says second host from Karakamsha, which Karakamsha is he talking about? Navamsha? Kunshamsha? It is not clear. So if you take the charts of people who have speech problems, take a few charts. Take the Trinshamsa, take the Navamsa, see, see the influences on the second and third from Karakamsa, then you will know what he is talking about. So bottom line is, some research is needed. Okay, so we'll, I'll restart the recording, we'll take an example. You guys decide which one you want to see. Give me the data. Uh, July 26. Uh, July 26. 19.51. 19.51. 9.35 p.m. 9.35 p.m. p.m. Yeah. 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 How close is Saturn to Jupiter? Saturn is just 5 degrees. Saturn has very close aspect on Lagna. Saturn is closer to the Lagna longitude than Jupiter. So there is a strong Saturn. Even though there is a so mixed influence of Jupiter and Saturn. And partial Brahma Yoga. Okay. So what do you want to see? Okay, I will actually, I, sorry, I will repeat the data for people who are listening to the audio. July 26th, 1951, 9.35 p.m. Indian Standard Time, 5 hours 30 minutes east of GMT. The place is Vishakhapatnam, India. Vishakhapatnam also known as Vaijag. P-I-Z-A-G-G. Vishakhapatnam, India. 83 degrees, 18 degrees. So, what do we know about this person? What do we want to see about this person? The question is related to his health. Health? Okay. He has a problem with um, um, legs, sir. Leg. Hip. Hip. Okay. And he has some serious problems with his eyes. Hip problem and serious eye problems. Yeah. He's in. He's still working and he works as a bank employee. Um, Oh, he's been working since last 30 years, 27 years, 30 years. Bank employee since 27 years. Yes, from 1970s. Okay. From 1970s he worked as a bank employee. So for the last 27 years also he has been working as a bank employee. He has some serious high problems and he has a problem in his uh, hips. He's not able to walk properly. Unable to walk properly. Oh, that's serious. Okay. Okay. Any, okay, that's it. So we want to see about health. Okay, very good. You can operate it twice on ice. Operate it? Three times on ice. It was operated three times on ice. Okay, very good. So, let's see. Because this is related to health, mostly Rati will suffice. We consider Srinsamsa and Sathamsa, but Rati will suffice. So, we don't really have to do the rectification also. We don't need events, etc. Because this is Lagna active. How much data do we have? 13 minutes, 55 seconds earlier, Lagna will say. So, 14 minutes of Libya we have. So, it should be accurate. It should be after more than 40 minutes, right? So, we'll just accept it. And we'll 
casually consult in Shamsa, but we will basically go where Rashi chat. Okay. So what the hell is he running? Basically, what kind of a person is he, do you think? What is the basic personality? The spiritual person. Lagna has Jupiter in it and Saturn is affecting Lagna. Saturn, Jupiter association on Lagna is Brahma Yoga. Though there is a big distance between them, so it's not complete. There is a partial Brahma Yoga. And Hamsa Yoga is there, Jupiter in Lagna, uh, in one sign. So basically a dharmic person, spiritual person, <coughs> and what else? Rahu in 12. Hmm? Rahu in 12. Rahu in 12. 12th in the 12th house, is that good for spirituality? Yeah, Yoga. Yeah, Numeri Yoga. 12th house is the house of spirituality, Moksha, of letting things go. And 12th heart in the 12th house is a blessing. So he is a... He is a good person, basically a good person. Can he be a lazy person? Saturn influence on Lagna and in general Vienna people, they can be either contented or lazy. Basically, Kapha person, bottom line is Lagna is Pisces and Jupiter is the Lagna Lord, he is in Lagna. So there is a strong Kapha influence. So the body type is basically Kapha and Kapha people tend to be on the positive side, very contented, relaxed, happy, optimistic. That is the nature of Kappa people on the positive side. And there is a lot of earth in you, earth and water inside you. You are either like that or on the negative side, it is going to be lazy. Not really moving. So it is a mixture of basically. But somebody unlikely to be very charged up and fighting around, not that kind of person. Very either laid back or happy and relaxed. So that is the basic personality and Lagna has Katri from Moon and Rahu, that is good. Hmm. Is Mars in the fourth house good or bad? Mars is in the fourth house, is it good or bad? Mars in the fourth house, is it good or bad? He is a functional benefit. He is a functional benefit, but he is also a natural benefit. So he is in the fourth house. So as far as fourth house, Sukha is concerned, it can show some uh, ninth is fortune. So he'll give, he will show some fortune from the point of view of ownership. So he gives, being the ninth lord, he gives fortune. And being in the fourth house of Sukha, he will make him fortunate with Sukha. He will give him a lot of uh, maybe land or uh, luxuries nice vehicle etc. But being a natural delicate by nature he is not really, he won't be happy. So in general not somebody who's, who can be easily happy. Even though he will have things, somebody who is not very really happy. Now uh, the other thing is, uh, there is a conflict thing between that and the Lagna uh, which is being content. Right. Right, it is contradicting. So how do you how do we, how do we reconcile? Mars in the fourth house will give Sokalopa. Some kind of Sokalopa he will give. Jupiter and Lagna will make him somebody who is easily contented. So how do you reconcile both? Both have to be true. Mars is based on the data, things can one thing can dominate over the other. And the second thing is apart from the data, in general, you may be somebody who wants to be happy in general, who wants to be easy, easy going. But at the same time, Mars is the planet of drive. So when it comes to Sukha, when it comes to comfort and peace, a planet whose agenda is to be aggressive and pursue things, active pursuit of things, he is in that house. So he tends to be laid back and tends to be content. But when it comes to luxuries, maybe I want this kind of car or maybe I need this kind of TV, that kind of attitude can be given by Mars who is in the fourth house. So that can give some kind of unhappiness. The fourth house matters, it could be happy, but Fourth house, when it comes to fourth house matters, there may be some dissatisfaction. But in general, Lagna having Jupiter, he is basically a happy person. Now, what the hell is he running? By the way, who is affecting Lagna? Can I get rid of this Toshiba? No, I can't. Okay, that's okay. Huh? Do you want me to put it? Or, or we are outside, right? We are outside. Okay, okay, that's good. Oh, actually not most. What I was thinking is, a big percentage of the screen is taken by this Toshiba icon. Can I get rid of these icons? Yeah. All this.
there. Oh, I see. I can just move it somewhere else. I can't go. I think you should, no, you get rid of it. I don't know. What okay, that's okay. Oh, there is a cross. I didn't. Because I didn't have the mouse, I didn't get the... Okay. Okay, okay thanks. Huh? I just want Actually, can you guess just what is the Ayurvedic constitution? Because before we see what is the health problem, it is a good idea to know what is the Ayurvedic constitution of the person. So, Mian Lagna shows Kapha. Jupiter in Lagna shows Kapha. But Jupiter is away from Lagna. But he is Lagna Lagna. So, Kapha. What is the other infant? Who are aspects in Lagna mostly? If you look at aspects, the biggest is Saturn 97% aspect. Saturn has 97% aspect. Very powerful aspect. That shows Vata. Dryness. The other one is Venus having 87% aspect. That is also big. 87.9% aspect. Again, Kapha. Okay. Go to the... You haven't come to the class in a long time and also you haven't used Jagharai in a long time. Probably you didn't even download 7.4. Very good. If you have 7.4, you can see. Okay. Okay. Got it? So, Venus has 87.9% 87 aspect on Lagna, right? Okay, did you get there too? Yeah. Okay. So, Venus has very powerful aspect. The other one is, Mercury has 76% aspect. So, if you look at all above 3 fourth aspects, these are Mercury 76, Venus 88, Saturn 98. So, Saturn shows Vata, Venus shows Kappa. What does Mercury show? He is mixed. So, let's ignore Mercury because he is only 76. So, Venus is dominating. So, Venus will add to Jupiter. Both are Kapha. So, bottom line is, my take is, 80% Kapha or 75% Kapha and 25% Vata. So, it is a Kapha Vata person. So, Kapha Vata people get into the Vata people are very thin and emaciated. Kapha people are very fat. So, Kapha Vata people tend to be the medium build, medium, not too fat, but not very thin also. It's really fat and tend to put up weight very easily and have a cool body and they need to eat, they need to uh, eat lot of spice. Spice is good for them. Spicy food is good. They need that fire. There isn't enough fire in the body. Fire is very low. Metabolism is very weak. Fire is very low. So they need to eat spicy food. Now, what is the Dasha he is running? Oh, he is running Jupiter Dasha. And he is having problems. That is strange. Okay, let us let us see. Actually, that is strange. Yeah, Rashi is rectified, let us say. And Navam Lagna is not anywhere close. So, even if we rectify a special like the satellite, the Dabi Gita won't apply. So, let us stick to Vinsha 3. Vinsha 3 is ever removed. So, Jupiter has started. So, you are saying that health problems started after Jupiter has started? So, the side end of uh, Rahu and yeah. Jupiter started. Okay. And they have been, it's a good thing that they are surfacing and until then we never know. It was so sudden that he was diagnosed with glaucoma that his eyes were about to I go see. and when, when, it was actually key for us to know that he had that kind of uh -huh. thing. Okay. So, in one way, all of them coming up were good. Okay. Very good. Now, let us not say that, oh, something is wrong, how does this apply, let's use Sadatri Dasha, Sadatri actually none of them apply, so three is the one. Now, can you explain why this is happening, why Jupiter is giving so much problem, health problems? Why Jupiter is giving health problems? Jupiter is the Lagna Lord in Lagna, he should, he should take care of the body, he should, he should be beneficial to the body. Why is he giving problems? Where do you see problems to the health from? What is the chart Palasha recommended? Palasha didn't recommend Shastamsha. Shastamsha, that is what we use. Palasha didn't never talk about Shastamsha. Yes. Look at D30. Palasha said, the suffering from previous sins, he is seen from D30. All the health problems, serious suffering, he is seen from D30. In the D30 chart, Lagna is, Taurus. He is a sign owned by Venus. And Jupiter is an enemy of the Lagna Lord and he is 
the eighth lord and eleventh lord. He is a functional male seed. He is a party. So in the chart of health problems, he is a party, and he is debilitated, and he is with Mandi, right? So based on these things, can Jupiter give health problems? Of course he can. Being the the eighth lord in the trinsanta will give suffering from all the previous things. So in the Jupiter, the astronaut Jupiter, the some problems coming is it makes sense. Now let's do the Shastamsa. Shastamsa is physically suffering. So physical suffering is Shastamsa. Shastamsa is Sisiya again. Lagna is Libra. Again a sign owned by Vina. Jupiter is an enemy and he is the sixth lord and third lord. Again functional male. He is a party. So he is a party in D6 as well as D30. So that is the reason why despite Jupiter that are running, he is suffering from health problems. But being the Lagna Lord of Rashi Shah, yes, what it means is he will he will basically Lagna Lord will cure, so he will actually cure the other words. He will be he will be getting treatment. It's not like something bad will happen to him. He will basically die or something like that. That's not possible. In the Jupiter Lagna, he will be dead. So being the Lagna Lord, he takes care of the body and he is making progress towards curing. But Looking at the D6 and D30, the person is basically uh, suffering. Now, what is the answer that are running right now? Now, by the way, even before we continue further, as far as propitiation is concerned, Jupiter is the one to propitiate because he is the one showing problems in D30 as well as D6 and he is the one whose data is running right now. So, Jupiter needs to be propitiated. Exactly how we will come to that. Mm -hmm. Yes, 10th house is the house of problems in vision. So in D6, if you look at 10th house, it has Venus, Moon, Rahu, Ketu. They are all affected there. And the other thing is, 10th house shows vision related problems, not problems, with vision. 10th house shows the strength of vision. And the affection there will show problems in the vision. Who is the Karaka for vision? No, Venus is the Karaka for eyes. Physical eyes, how beautiful the eyes are, how big the eyes are, how small the eyes are, there is that. The vision is sun. So, second house is physical eyes and the tenth house is vision. Similarly, Venus is physical eyes and sun, sun is the vision. And if you look at D6, the chart of health problems, sun is affected by Saturn. So, both the Karaka of vision is affected and the house of vision is also affected. And the lord of the house of the vision, moon, is eclipsed by Rahu and Ketu. So, that is the other thing. So, there is a possibility of problems with respect to vision. Now, now Jupiter. Problems must have started in Jupiter's case. Why? Because Ketu is the second lord. Ketu is the? Second Lord. He is he is the tenth house. Right, right. But it's not just Ketu. Even Rahu is affected in the tenth house. That is possible. Ketu can give it, Rahu can also give it. Even Jupiter himself, Jupiter, Jupiter can also give. Because Jupiter is the sixth Lord, right? And if you look from the tenth house of vision, he is the sixth Lord in the eighth house. Marka basically. Of course, you can say, like I said a few times earlier also, there is nothing called Vipetra Yoga. Even though sixth lord in eighth may be considered Vipetra Yoga, that is not in the matter of health. When it comes to D6, there is no Vipetra Yoga. It is basically two Dushanas coming together. It is basically version the result. So, from the house of vision, tenth house, Jupiter is the sixth lord in eighth house, showing serious problems in vision. He is in the ninth lord also, but he is in the eighth house. Ninth lord in the eighth house shows withdrawal of the protection. And sixth lord in the eighth house shows the fighting basically being intensified and having to fight thunder. So, Jupiter himself is a bad planet as far as the vision is concerned. And why I say Ketu is also a bad planet, but why I say Rahu is 
is the eighth lord in the ground from the house of vision. Right? Of course, both Rahu and Ketu are enemies of moon. So, both of them are replaced there. Neither of them is good. They both spoil 10th house and 10th lord. But Rahu is even worse. Of course, Rahu and Tadjasa hasn't come yet. So, Dutra Rahu can be even worse. Anyway, so, now, what Tadjasa is running right now? K2. But soon Venus will start. Okay? Hmm. Now, why hip problem? Why is the problem in the hip? Why does he have the hip problem now? Is it muscles or nerve or what is it? Uh, dislocated bone. Dislocated bone. Uh -huh. It's like fat in the hip. So, uh, it cannot really be cured. I see. So, what do you think is the reason for it? Where do you see the hips? Which house will show hips? Eight house. Very good. Eight house. Eight house. Ninth house is thighs. Tenth house is knees. So, first house is the top of the head. Uh, and the second house is face. Third house is neck and the, and the upper portion of the chest. And fourth house is the chest, heart, etc. And the fifth house is stomach. Sixth house is lower stomach, liver, some of the internal parts in the in the in the stomach. So fifth and fifth are basically stomach. Sixth is lower stomach. And seventh house is kidney and uh, eighth house is the genitals, ass, etc. Basically all the portion in the vicinity. So hips are also eighth house. Ninth house is eyes. 10th house is knee, 11th house is calf and uh, ankle and the 12th house is feet. So this is how the body is divided and various houses are shown by, uh, various parts of the body are shown by various houses. So 8th house will show hips, any problem in the hips will be shown by 8th house. So is there a chance of problem with the hips in this chart? 8th Lord Venus is, is affected, that is one thing. 8th Lord Venus is affected by Bhadaka Lord Mercury and K2, right? Is that, only, is that the only thing? He is in Manakarakasthana. So 8th Lord Venus is in Manakarakasthana. So some problem with the hips. Either We can't say hips specifically, either hips or genitals or ass. In the portion there is, a, there is a problem. That is what you can say. Now, uh, if you look in the Trimshyamsya, how is the eighth house there? Well, it has Rahu and Ketu and it's large Jupiter. His the guy is running right now. So, hip related problem is possible. And secondly, some problem in the bones happen. Right? You said there is a crack in the bone. There cannot be a problem in the bones without solar eclipse. Solar affliction. Sun is the karga for bones. So, in the Trimshamsa, sun has to be afflicted. And is he afflicted? Yeah, sun is badly afflicted. Sun is and he is affected by Saturn in the in the Trimshamsa chart. So, affliction of sun by Saturn in the Trimshamsa, it can show a problem with the bones. So, combining all these things, there is a, it makes sense that during this time he has some problem with the hips. So, what is the solution? Who can he worship? Which God can he worship? Which propitiation can he do? Tell me. Should he worship Jupiter or Sun or Rahu? Who is, what is the best worship to do? Hmm? Rahiva, okay. Okay, Jupiter, we all agree that worshipping Jupiter is the best because the sky is running and he is the main troublemaker. And even though there are other things like Sunny is affecting, affected by Saturn, the bottom line is Jupiter the sky is the main problem. All, all other factors show the potential. By the way, how is the next one to this? Right now, Ketu and the sky is running. Ketu is in the Rashi chart, Ketu is the ninth lord in the sixth house. Not great, but 
Look at the next time that the deity is what? Venus. He is the eighth law. First of all, he is an enemy of Lagna Lord. Jupiter the Christ, I mean. He is an enemy of Dutta Lord as well as Lagna Lord. So he won't give auspicious results. When an under Dutta that is inimical to the Dutta comes, it will give inauspicious results. And secondly, he is the eighth Lord in the sixth house. So it's not really good for health. How is he in the Simshamsa? That is the consolation. As far as Simshamsa is concerned, he is not really showing great suffering. He is the Lagna Lord in the second house. So he, he is not really showing, when it comes to struggling with the, struggling with the punishment for your sins, Jupiter is showing struggle with the punishment. Venus is not really showing that. At the physical level, Venus is showing uh, being the eighth lord in the sixth floor, he is either showing problems or he, he is also Yogi Yoga. So the thing is, my feeling is in the Venus Dasa, in a boiling point, but some solution may be found. Some relief may be found in the Venus Antar Dasa. In the Sashtamsa, right. In the Sashtamsa, he is Tula Rajna, he is Rajna in the tenth house. So, as far as as far as the this thing, as far as the problem with the history is concerned, there is a chance of some relief in the Venus and the Dasa. But the best thing to do is propitiate Jupiter. But the bottom line is because the Mahadasa is a really bad Mahadasa from the health point of view. The relief may be may not be really full relief. It, it will be really some relief. But I'm not really I don't think that suddenly he will start walking perfectly out. So anything like that. So, to maximize the chance of recovery, to maximize the level of recovery, the best thing to do would be uh, worship Jupiter. And instead of worship Sadashiva, what I would suggest is, Sadashiva is a very auspicious, very sarcastic form. And the problem we have here is, look at Dintamsa. Jupiter owns Sagittarius which contains Rahu Ketu. He is the disposer of Rahu Ketu. And he is in a debilitated, he is debilitated. He is in Capricorn, a Thomasic sign. So there is a lot of Thomasic influence in the Pimsamsa on Jupiter. So you need some kind of, some fierce energy to counter that Thomasic energy. So instead of worshipping Shiva, you need, you need some, some other form of love. Jupiter is Shiva, so some other form of Shiva. So for example, Rutsinje Mantra is a good idea. Rudram can be done. Bhuchinjaya Mantra can be done. Bhuchinjaya Mantra is a good idea. And the thing is that will, add, that will address Sana also then. The sun pattern combination in Virgo. So Bhuchinjaya Mantra is a good idea. And one thing given in class for physical problems, health problems and physical problems is doing a homo with the Tremaka Medamahe Mantra and making offerings of Darbha the sacred glass. So sacred glass, dip it in paisam. Make paisam, basically milk pudding, milk and rice pudding. Dip the sacred glass in paisam and offer it. That is the main offering, instead of any other things. So making offerings of that and being a homum on a regular basis with the Triambaka Medamahe Mantra. That is recommended for relief from the health problems. Another thing that is very good is Guru Kavacham, Grahaspati Kavacham. If you find any Navagraha, Navagraha Stotram books in India, uh, I mean AP, that book is very easy available. It gives the Mantram, Kavacham, Astotram, Stotram of all planets. So you can find the Guru Kavacham there, Grahaspati Kavacham. So reading the Grahaspati Kavacham is a good idea. So hunting Grahaspati Kavacham regularly, and Nuchinjaya Mantra, especially with the Darbha, Paisa Sikta Darbha as the Ahuti. That is a very good idea. No, no you can offer ghee also, but the thing is you may make some offerings of the Darbha. You can't make the whole home with Darbha. You may, may not have those only Darbha. But make a few token offerings with the Darbha and rest you can give ghee. 
Can you sit, not with the floor, X cross, but can you sit on a chair? That you can do, right? Yeah. You don't have to, to do sadhana, to do worship. You don't have to sit with your eyes, with your legs crossed, especially if it's a problem. You can sit on a chair normally and then do also. Suppose somebody is doing home sitting on a chair. Then the only request is, make sure the home kunda is at a height higher than you. So if you are sitting in a chair, put a table in front of you that is slightly taller. Uh, and then put the home kunda on top of it. Then it's fine. The main thing is people emphasize sitting cross legs. Not everybody can do it today, unfortunately. And if you have to stop sadhana because you can't sit cross legs, that is really, that is kind of like, I don't have a silver plate to eat my lunch and I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat in this copper plate or steel plate. I'm, I'm going to remain hungry. I won't eat. It's kind of like that. This is, this is not the most important point. The most important point is, from the, the back should be straight when you do sadhana. That is the most important point. Even to meditate, forget home, even to meditate, if somebody sits in a chair and sits still with the back straight and the head straight and neck straight and eyes closed, that is good enough. Uh, how the legs are is secondary. It's, it's not a main point. Any other point you guys want to add? I just want to quickly check one thing. Any other points you guys want to make? Anything else? See, this is a good example where a planet is auspicious for Lina in the Rashi chart, but very inauspicious, extremely inauspicious in the Tin Samsa. See, during the Dasa, the person is suffering. So, this is a good example of that. Just because a planet is Lagana Lord, doesn't necessarily mean that, but the thing is, instead of problem being hidden, the problem may come out so that it can be cured, doctors can be working on it. So that is what it means. And I just want to show you, I just want to check a couple of things. By the way, just for information. Saturn Desha is a Mark Desha. Jupiter is no chance Jupiter can kill the person. Jupiter Desha is a slave Desha as far as longevity is concerned. But Saturn and Mercury, the next two Deshas are uh, in a special Desha. Saturn is in the seventh house. If a male freak is in the seventh house, he becomes a Marka. So Saturn is a Marka for this chart. Right? So when after 2018 until 2037, that is a, that is a, uh, that is a critical period. Saturday. So Saturn is free until the child is very critical until the sun. Because Saturn is in the seventh house and free is the seventh lot. But, but the bottom line is until 2018 he is safe. Despite suffering, he will basically live. Any other point to anybody, any questions or any other point you want to make? What? Yeah, Libra rises there. Do we know it is accurate? 18 seconds later, Lagna will change. So we don't know if it's accurate. So we can't really use it. He wanted to see Inchamsa, to see the spiritual life of the person. But the thing is, Lagna is Tula. It will become, uh, from Tula it will become Vrishtika. In 18 seconds. So that's hardly enough to live. So we don't know if Lagna is Libra or Scorpio. So we can't really see the, uh, see this Inchamsa. But of course, if you want to see the spiritual life, you can see Dhrubdhasa in the Rashi chart, right? So see Dhrubdhasa Rashi chart. Right now, he is running Varbodhasa. How is Varbodhasa? In Varbodhasa, you take the fifth from there. 
इन वर्क बहुत अच्छा केप्टिकॉन भी कौन सा लगना प्रोग्रेस लगना राइट सो प्रोग्रेस लगना केप्टिकॉन लेकिन केप्टिकॉन का लगना मीनस मेट्री केपू आर इन एट हाउस बेसिकली एट लॉट इज इन सेवेंथ हाउस सन एंड एट हाउस कंटेन्स थ्री प्लान सो इट इज गुड फॉर स्पिरिचुअल साधन एंड एक्सपीरियंसेस So the current time, despite the physical suffering, this time of 2007 to 2016, this is good for spiritual sadhana. This is a good time. Tony, and one more thing I want to say. Jupiter is a lagna lord in lagna. So, any cure of this problem, how will it come from? Will it come from modern medicine? Unlikely. It will come through Ayurveda or some traditional traditional medicine. So, for this kind of part, especially in Jupiter Gata, there is no point in going to doctors and all that. So, there are some people, some, especially in Kerala, some of this knowledge is actually still alive. Some of the sophisticated Ayurvedic knowledge. So consulting somebody in Kerala about improving the condition of the bone in the hip is not a bad idea. There is a chance. Uh, see, Venus may not be conducive. Jupiter Venus under this time may or may not be helpful. Even though he is giving Vipri Trajoga. But if you look at Sun, Sun is more conducive. Why do I say that? Sun is in the fifth house of Gorakhumya in the Rakhi Chhar. And Sun is the sixth lord of fighting, overcoming obstacles and fighting. And he is a friend of the Lagna Lord Jupiter, unlike Venus, and he is a friend of Lagna Lord Venus. So, he shows fighting to improve the person, to improve the health of the person. So, Jupiter, Venus, Jupiter, Ketu are not really positive. I am not sure there will be much improvement. But Jupiter's son, there is a chance of improvement. So, during that time, some kind of traditional remedy, सीरियस बोन प्रॉब्लम था तो सम आयुर्वेदिक रेमेडीज टू है इट टेक्स सम टाइम बट देर आर सम पीपल हु आर स्किलफुल इन इन साउथ इंडिया सो इट्स ए इट्स ए गुड बट वन थिंग आई कैन से इफ एट ऑल दिस पर्सन इज क्यूर इट बी थ्रू ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन नॉट बी थ्रू मॉडर्न मेडिसिन आर थ्रू मंथ्स आर थ्रू म Go back to tradition. What do you guys think? For the eyes, there is no eyes. Eyes? What do you guys think? Is there a relief? Is there a possible relief for eyes? What do you think about the eyes? See the restriction on the tenth house in the DC is so bad, right? And the sun, Karka is also affected. Let's see one more thing. If it is D thirty. In the D30 also, if you take the tenth house of vision, the tenth lord is in the. If you take the tenth house as lagna to see vision, lagna lord is in eighth and eighth lord is in lagna. Lagna lord is in the eighth house with the seventh lord with the enemy, and eighth lord is in lagna. It is very very terrible, right? It is not very really conducive at all. And the Jupiter the sun that is running right now, he is a marka. He is the second second lord. So, Bob, so, the, so my feeling is looking at all these things. I, I'm not sure if there can be any uh, relief from that. Ice may be a, something that he has to live with, but so the chance of relief with respect to ice is very small. But with respect to the hip, there is a chance. Any other comments? From tenth house? Yeah, he is in twelfth, right? Right. That is basically loss of vision. He is in the house of he is a marka and he is in the house of loss of vision. So the the outlook for improvement in the vision, having perfect vision again, is difficult. Any other questions? Any other comments? He wears uh, uh, an emerald on his right 
right hand or uh, ring finger. I see. That is and that my who told him that? My grandfather told I see. him that. I, I see. I see. He's been very much in. I know him. I see. Is that any? Ah, it's 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 not a great stone. He is the seventh Lord Maraka in the sixth house of sickness. So it's not a great stone, especially after. Hey, that that will give you sickness has already triggered and you are experienced in sickness. Why do you want to wear the stone of a planet who is in the sixth house of sickness? It, it's not really great. If he wants, if he wants to wear a stone, what will be a good stone for him? What will be a good stone in your view? Hmm? Pushra, but the Pokhara, the Pushra thing, he he is Lagna Lord in Rashi. But he, he, the guy is running and he is giving so many problems. In D30, D6, he has a very terrible agenda to put serious suffering for the sins done in the past life. That is what Jupiter is doing right now. So, we all look for a healer who... Yeah. So, what do what, what you... Who, who, what else can we want? Tell me. Hmm? Paul? Well, he is the lord of the house of Porofundra. In the Rashi chart, so that is good, and he is in the second house, and D6 he is the tenth lord in the tenth house, trying to fight for wisdom, right? And even from the point of view of his, he is the third lord in third from the eighth house, and in D30, he is the third lord. He is okay. He is, he doesn't have anything really bad. He is the third lord, the seventh lord, and the lagna lord, and he has as of the eighth house of ah eighth house of the conference. He is the seventh lord in the eighth house. He is the eighth lord in the seventh house. So he is not again. He is not that good. What about Mars? He is the ninth lord in the Rashi chart. So he is basically the fortune, the bhagya, right? The protection from the. In the Sastamsya, he is the. How is he in Sastamsya D6? He is the second and seventh lord Maraka, but he is not. In the first round, there are six and eight. He's not like Balga Lord, the first Lord, the eighth Lord, or anything. And he, he's in the Balga Stana, but he's okay. He's not really that terrible. And in the first round, there are third. He's the seventh Lord in the second round. He's a Marka, so that's bad. He's Marka, but he's not showing any problems with respect to the health. And especially from the point of view of his and the eighth house, he's the first Lord in the seventh house. So he's okay. So, if at all anybody see in this chart, given the complications, there is no point in wearing gemstones. If you must wear a gemstone, and more of the moon, in Bharani, so Venus, Sun, Moon, Mars, he is Shamadara Lord. So, being the Shamadara Lord and being the Lord of the Nine Cons of Protection and Fortune and Protection from Gods in the Rati chart, and being okay in the Tinshamsa, Sastamsa, etc., Red Coral is a good idea. Okay, see that. But that's not doing any Egyptian thing in this chart. Well, it's it's a protection. In that Rati chart is giving protection. So general protection. General protection from God. Basically, your blessings are being invoked. The blessings on the past life you are getting, you are invoking them. You are using them, using them more. Basically, bottom line is what 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 does the gemstone do? You have so many blessings from the past life. Some are going to be experienced in this life. Some are waiting in the bank. So that in the next life you will get. God won't send you to current life with all the blessings that you you have had to. Only some will be earmarked for this year, and this life. Rest will be for a next life. So there are some in the pipeline. So you are basically putting and putting and putting the position so that bank can release some more funds. But the thing is, this can be a problem for your next life. May or may not be the best thing to do. So. That's basically what is happening when you use the ninth law. That's basically what you are doing. So that can give some relief. So red coral is something that I suggest. If at all, you must wear a gemstone. Otherwise, don't wear a gemstone. Just worship. Um, my question. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can I do something? Yeah, you can do something. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever I said, he can do. Like Guru Kavacham. He can do in this name. With the sankalpa, yeah, you can do with a with a view to your father basically improve. See, I I was telling you guys 
I, I told you many times, instead of getting things done through your face, you do it yourself, right? This is, this is a, this has been a constant thing with me because I said, please won't be able to identify so much with your problem as you yourself can. And even if they identify, they can't really generate the factory and transfer it to you. It's not very easy to do something for somebody else. In these days, it is so difficult to even give a physical object to somebody else. If I have a computer and somebody says, I don't have a computer, can you give me? I'll feel like, no, I need this computer, I can't give. So even stupid material things you don't give people so easily. So what, the safety that you accumulate through sadhana is very difficult to give, to give to somebody else. So I keep saying, so just before this conference that I went to, I discovered somebody gifted me Parasra Mahadevam long time back. I never read it. So just recently I opened the page and guess what, the page I opened, he was discussing about home, the importance of doing sadhana by oneself. So, this Parasara, the same Parasara Mahashi who Valadiyasa's father, who wrote, whose books we read for astrology, he wrote a Dharma Shastra, he wrote a Smriti. So, he gave, he laid out rules for Kaliyuga. What are the rules people have to follow in rituals, etc. So, in those rules, and by the way, there is one dictum that says, Manusmriti is for Krataveva, Kaudam Smriti is for Krataveva. Like that, there is a different Smriti that is authority for each Yuga. And for, para, for Kaliyuga, the Smriti mentioned is Parashara Smriti. So Mahavajarya, who is Vijayaran, who is basically uh, around the time of Sikhshadavara, before Sikhshadavara, he is a great very scholar. He and his brother, they wrote commentaries on various Dhamsakra, Vedas, Puranas, etc., Vedangas, etc. So he he wrote a book called Parashara Mahayam, distilling the essence of Parashara Smriti. So there, there is a very clear dictum which says, Compared to a homam or any other ritual being done by a priest in your name, if your own shishya does it, it is hundred times more powerful because your shishya identifies with you more. Then, that, that, that is, I am saying it, he didn't say that, but he said, shishya doing is hundred times more powerful. And compared to a shishya doing in your name, if your own son does it, it is hundred times even more powerful. And compared to your own son doing it, you yourself do it, it is hundred times even more powerful. So basically he said, compared to your priest, you do it yourself, million times more powerful. And the thing is, this Dharmasastra was compiled for Kaliyuga. And the thing is, in Kaliyuga, in the old days you had priests who would just sit, meditate, and then generate energy just like that, because of their purity, and then transfer it to a person, and destroy the sin of a person just with one puja, then go. You don't have that kind of priest anymore. Period. You don't. Maybe one or two here and there, but you can't, you can't bank on asking such a priest. And even if you actually find a priest like that, you will see that such priests are so few and people who are looking for relief are so big and the kind of problems people are in are so big. The kind of things people do are much bigger than in the world. So even if there are a few good sadhakas here and there, they know that they are not capable of destroying the sins of everybody. So they will not really venture to solve the problems of people. They will just remain aloof, they will remain in their corners. They will teach people how to do things, how to do sadhana rather than relieving the problems of people. Because then all your sadhana will easily be exhausted. You won't really be able to help many people. There, there, there is so much problem in the world and so little dharma. So anyway, so recognizing this, it is interesting that Parasara at the end of Vapareva gave a statement that people are better off doing their own. This is the skill which has been what Gunalananda said, which has been what Manish said, which has been what, which has, which has been what I've been saying all these years. So it is interesting to find a difference from Parasara. So anyway, so what I was saying is, if you do, if your father does it, it is better, but if you do, it is better than somebody else do. So it is definitely, you can definitely do it in your father's name. Just have the sincerity, feel that your father should be helped. The thing is, all of we are indebted to our parents. Basically, they created us. Without parents, we don't exist. So, there is a runa to father. So, if you do something for your father, it will help you, help you pay back that runa. Is that good? Any other questions, comments? One more thought. Yes, you can ask. Yeah. We will not give any logic, we will just give a reading kind of thing. Tell me the data. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, the, I don't know which one, so you have to look at. 
either my chart or my brother's chart. You had a child with an endowment? No, I have to tell you, I am asking you. Okay, what is the problem? Is my mother is seriously ill in the hospital from yesterday. Yeah. She is recording, but from my chart I see that um, my G12, the moon and the fourth house are affected badly with how capable. We will see your chart. Forget about your brother because we already worked on your chart so much. We will use your chart, we will use your next question. And next question right now, 8.32. 8.32 p.m. Dracut Mass. August 16, 2010, 8.32 p.m. Dracut Mass has said, 71 degrees, 18 minutes, 9 seconds rest, 42 degrees, 40 minutes, 13 seconds not, 10 to 1 is Eastern Daylight Time Time, 4 hours rest of GMT. I'll save this. Krasna, on your mother's health, right? Seshu's mother's health, right? She is hospitalized? Yes. Okay. Sunday and she might come home to you. Okay. But from Marak, I see that she has bad affliction from September 5th. So my question is, if I should be trying to get to India by... I see, I see. We will see that. We will open your chart. Hopefully your chart will be here. Quickly, Prasna. So, Lagna is Aquarius. Lagna is Aquarius. Right? And, yeah, who Jupiter is in the first house. So that is good. So that means the Prashna has potential to be answered. If Jupiter is influencing Lagna, basically God, God is willing to give an answer to an astrologer. Otherwise, we should not look at the Prashna further. So that is there. And if you look at the Lagna Lord, there is Lagna Lord play. He is in the seventh house. And seventh house contains right. So Venus, Mars, and Saturn. So Lagna Lord is with Venus and Mars. Lagna Lord is with Venus and Mars. So Venus is the fourth Lord, right? So Lagna Lord is with Venus, and he is with the Venus is fourth Lord from Lagna. So he shows mother and Mars is a Mata from 4th house taking photos as Lagna. I am just looking at Dati. Taking photos as Lagna, Mars is the 7th and 12th Lord. So Mars is in general the Karaka for health problems etc. Saturn and Mars, these are the Karakas. Saturn problems are shown by Mars and he is Maraka. Moreover, he is the 12th Lord of hospitalization. So 4th Lord of mother, the 3rd Lord of mother's hospitalization, there is Lagna Lord. So, the native is thinking about mother and her hospitalization. Right? Second thing is, Lagna Lord Saturn is with the ninth Lord, Venus. Right? And in the seventh house. Seventh house is a long journey. Seventh house. Lagna Lord is in the seventh house with bunch of planets. That is long journey. And he is with Venus. Venus is not only fourth Lord of mother, he is the ninth Lord of, again, a long journey. So, the question is relating to going to a long journey, should I be planning for a long journey, that's basically what he is asking. So, basically things are adding up. The, the prasna is basically adding up. So, let us see the, to see the future, let us see the drakana. This is the drakana. Let us see the, let us take the fourth one as lagna. So, Kiptukan is the lagna. The drakana. Kiprikan is the Lagna, right? In the Prasna chart, Drekkana, fourth house is Kiprikan, right? Four degree, forty-three minutes Kiprikan. That is the Drekkana, right? Everybody get the four degree, forty-three minutes Kiprikan. So, who are in the Lagna? Who are in the Lagna? Venus and Mars. The fourth and fifth lots are in Lagna. That is, that is good. Fourth and fifth lots in Lagna. What is the 4 degrees what? 4 degrees. Huh? Which decan are you using? Ah. Which decan are you using? Ah. Which decan are you using? 4 degrees, 43 minutes, Libra. That is the Lagna. That is the Lagna. 4 degrees, 43 minutes, Kirtukan. Kirtukan. So if you make a chart at record for 8.32 p.m. today, August 16, 2010, you will see that the Laguna in D3 using Parasar Drekana. Are you 
there's no terrible combination basically he is okay six lord mercury is not really throwing up any big combination so overall above all venus and mars are blessing the lagna the fourth and fifth lord are giving a rajyoga the fourth blessing of vishnu there are the actual problems in leo huh which showed us the problems yeah which showed basically yeah so they are blessing me so my feeling is she will be fine so Based on the prasna, my feeling is that she will be fine. Now let's look at your chart. Chart and the logic are also similar. Yeah. But however, let us see one more thing. Taking the, in the Draka na, taking Lagna as Libra only, looking from Ketu stuff. Lagna contains Ketu. In Lord Mercury, of a long journey, is in the seventh house of long journey. So Mercury. Ninth Lord Mercury and Rahu, the Karaka for long travel, are together in the seventh house. So it seems like the person may travel anyway. His the mother will be fine in the long run. There will not be a serious problem with the mother, but the person may travel and travel. So probably there will be some more problem that comes up. You will go and everything will end up fine. That is basically combining everything. That is my take. No, I am not going because I was looking at my chart and uh, okay, that was not looking good. Yeah, not now. Basically, when you say Draka, na, it may be next for the next one year. Right. Now let us see Seshu's chart. Seshu is a woman. Seshu. Nine sixteen fifty one. Oh, okay. September sixteen fifty one. Oh, happy birthday, Seshu. Fifty one. Two twenty two p.m. Two twenty two p.m. Five thirty. Five thirty. Place you can travel, right? Place you can travel. Yeah, standard. Twenty thirty is thirty and twenty is twenty. Yeah. Okay. Let me save this. I'm saving it. Don't delete it again. Okay. The data for those who are living is September sixteen, nineteen sixty one, two twenty two p.m. I was 30 minutes east of GMT, IST, Sikandarabad, India. 78 degrees 30 minutes east, 17 degrees 27 minutes north. Okay, Dhanul Lagna, of course. So, mother, how do we see mother? I went to Dwarka. Dwarka, I am the excellent. What is the dasha running right now? Inshallah, Inshallah, three dasha. This is three from the south. Recently, three, three from the south also. But let us just see Inshallah. What is the dasha running? Venus the sign is running right now, and the uh, under the sign is Mercury. Venus Mercury is running, and the sixth one, the tenth under the sign is Mars. Mars. Venus Mercury Mars. You know about that. Venus Mercury Mars is running right now. Okay. Now Dwarasya Amsa. How do you see Mother in Dwarasya Amsa? You can see L four or the fourth house, right? Okay, let us just take the fourth house. If we take the fourth house, if we just take the fourth house in the Dwarka Samsa, Sagittarius, right? Mm -hmm. If we take Sagittarius as Lagna, how is the planetary position? Venus, Mercury, Mars. Can it give some problem, health problem? How is Venus the same overall? Venus is 
सिक्स लॉर्ड इन सिक्स हाउस एग्जैक्टली मार्का so some problem for the mother some health problem is expected during this few years right now the prachanta dasha specific prachanta dasha where this happened how is mars for me he is in the seventh house mars is in the seventh house that is manakarka sthana for mars moreover what house is does mars own what house is does mars own tell me He owns the fifth and twelfth houses, right? He owns the fifth and twelfth houses. He is debilitated, so twelfth house is the house of hospitalization. So there is a chance that she is hospitalized. Now the thing is, uh, tell me one thing. Is is I just I don't know how serious the problem is, but always whenever you talk about an old person and talk about the health problem, we look at the longevity just to be sure that there is longevity. Because if me somebody is out of longevity, it has to be approached differently. So is Venus the same as Mars the same for her? Venus is in Malakar ka sthana, but he is not a Marka. He is the sixth lord in the sixth house. So is he a Marka for mother? No. To be sure, look at the fourth from Moon also. Look at Moon from fourth from Lagna. Look at fourth from Moon. If you take Moon, he is in Pisces. The fourth from Moon is Gemini. Now there, how is Venus placed? Well, he is not a Marka again. We don't have to analyze in detail. He is not a Marka. So either way, Venus is not a Marka. So Venus dasha is is it likely to kill the person? Unlikely. How long is Venus dasha? It is still too low. Oh, it's getting over 2030. So Venus dasha is not a Marka dasha. That is clear. How about Sun dasha? How about Sun dasha? Is it a Marka dasha for mother? Unfortunately, maybe. Right? Why? From the fourth house, Sagittarius, Sun is in the seventh house. Seventh house, eighth house. If you look at the ah, sorry, eighth house, perfect. He is in the eighth house. A male pick in the eighth house, even though he is the ninth lord, a male pick in the eighth house can be a marka. So, Sun is a marka. Now, take the fourth from Moon. So take the fourth from moon that is Gemini, 18 degrees Gemini. From there he is in the second house, third lord. So even he is stronger marka. Third lord in the second is a marka. Moreover he is a male king. So from the fourth from moon as well as fourth from lagna, then he is a marka. So when Sandhya comes, 2013 to 2019, that is a critical dasha for the mother. That is a marka period for the mother. So there is some chance. During that time of death, but current Venus dasha there is no chance. There is no chance. It is not looked at from Rahu Ketu on the Moon and the reflection of their aspect on the fourth house. Pardon? Is it uh, is a mark of the mark looked from uh, with Rahu Ketu aspect on the Moon and on the fourth house? Fourth house from Moon. Fourth house from Lagna because I am looking at it from for my mother. Yeah. yeah. So on the fourth house, Rahu Ketu have a stronger aspect. And uh, of course, yes. but why are you looking at Rahu Ketu? Let me see some. Because I think I can get some separate from the. I see, I see. Okay. So let us see. See, once again, because you said I am looking at my mother, I am looking at the photos from Lagna. Let me tell you, even when you look for look at photos from Moon, that is your mother only. You can look look at the fourth house from Moon as well as Lagna, depending on which is stronger. Okay, so tenth lord is in the tenth house. So say to you, just a deep samrata. Now the only thing is, is the tenth lord actually in the tenth house or not is the debatable point. There is none the definition of the houses. Hey, I just wanted to use the Vishnu three. Yeah. So the thing is, based on Vishnu three, until 2013, there is absolutely no. 
risk to her, but some suffering is there. Now let us look at short term, current year. First look at 2009. 2009 annual third. Right, 2009 annual is the third. Uh, how is this? What is the chart looking like? Who is the horror lord? That year started on August 26th. The Hora Lord is Jupiter. Oh, okay. He is... Jupiter is... the seventh Lord in the eighth house with Rahu, right? So there is a good and he is debility. He is in debility. He is seventh Lord in the eighth house. He is a Maraka. He is in debility. He is giving good and yoga. So overall, is this a great year? It's, it's, it's an average year. It's not really a great year. And moreover, uh, what is the Dasha running right now? The Dasha running right now is Venus Dasha. Venus Dasha is running right now. Why was she hospitalized in the Venus Dasha? Can anybody tell me why Venus Dasha gave hospitalization? Point number one. In the Rashi chart, Venus is the 12th house. Right? 12th house is the house of? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Then all this is relevant. Jump to Dwal Shamsha. D12. Jump to D12. So Venus is uh, a uh, Yeah. Now, how much do we have? We have enough. So we'll take this chart as correct. Now, take the... Take the fourth, uh, fourth house. If you take the fourth house, right? If you take the fourth house, why did Venus give why did Venus give hospitalization to the mother? Yeah, he is the second and seventh lord, but taking the fourth house uh, as Vagna, he is the fourth and eleventh lord, he is the Badaka, he is the Badakesha, and he is in the second house. So why did he give hospitalization? For hospitalization, there has to be some link with the 12th house, right? Why did he give hospitalization? Tell me. He what? Why did he give hospitalization? Should we look at fourth from moon? Is the fourth from Lagna? If you take the fourth from moon, he is the he is not the twelfth lord. If you take the fourth from moon, he, he is a Maha, he is the second lord, but he is in the twelfth house with Ketu. So being in the twelfth house with Ketu, he can give hospitalization. Right? So if you look at houses based on the longitude. He is a, see, moon is at 4 degree Gemini. So, 4th house from moon is at 4 degree Virgo. But Venus is at 0 degree Virgo. So, he is in the 12th house from 4th fourth, fourth house. So, for mother, he is showing hospitalization. But the thing is, uh, if you take the 4th house, is, are there any Maraka combinations? See, Lagna Lord is in the 3rd house with Jupiter, 7th Lord. And sun. And uh, Mars is in the 12th house. So if you have all the planetary influences, is there any danger during this year? Do you see any danger during this year for mother? Jupiter is the one who is the horror lord. He is not wealthy. He is the 7th lord, Maraka, in the 3rd house. Is he in the 3rd or 2nd house? He is in the 3rd house? Okay. So he is in the third house. He is the seventh lord in the third house. Seventh lord in the third, can, can he be a marka? Yes, he can be a marka. So, his huh? period is over. Like it. But the thing is, he is the ruler of the year. So ruler of the year, even after his period is over, he can give. But the thing is, the, this year is almost over. So we don't have to worry about it. So, let's look at the next year. How is next year? Because it's very soon coming. If you look at his birthday, September 13th is his next birthday. 
again horror lord is jupiter he is the 8th and 11th lord in the 11th house so hey jupiter is 11th lord in the 11th house actually 11th lord in the 10th house so some gains in the carry several measures can be given but let's let's keep everything go to mother is this year a good year for mother or a bad year let's just look at it so let's see moon is in a in an inimical sign let's just look at lagna taking lagna see moon is in an inimical sign moon sign lord is in the 12th house whereas lagna lagna sign lord is in a chandra from it so lagna is stronger so look last year big one big one big one in the big one lagna is virgo the fourth house of mother is sagittarius right Sagittarius, what degree? Zero degree Virgo. So basically, all planets you can just figure the Rashi chart. How does that easy to find? So, who are in the Lagna? Cars. Ah, Lagna is on the border. Okay. But because Ketu has done such rectification, let's assume that this is accurate. And the thing is, even if this is not accurate, you can you can look at it then also. But then also. things are quite bad so let us look at this now sagittarius lagna lagna contains the seventh lord mercury the bhaga lord and mars and ketu who are the 12th lords in lagna so 12th lord is in lagna the shows hospitalization sun and rahu they are affecting they are affecting lagna there is a eclipse of sun the ninth lord sun is also affecting lagna and trying to protect he is being affected by rahu and lagna lord jupiter is in the sixth house of fighting right so overall this is a this is not a great year this is a year when there can be several hospitalizations and there can be some sickness to fight so this year doesn't look based on the previous chart this year doesn't look too good for the mother but the thing is because the if you look at the vinshati dasha showing the chalad and anta the chalad both are associated with the sixth house of disease and the pratyanta the chalad is showing he is associated with the 12th house of hospitalization so uh, there is some problem but we don't see any really terrible like suddenly some big disease being diagnosed or some serious problem and there we don't see anything like that so there we see some moderate ongoing kind of problem for a few years and for another few years and here we are seeing really terrible combination so coming both together is what we can say is no life danger no life danger nothing serious like suddenly somebody being diagnosed with cancer or something nothing like that nothing like a co changing but continuing problems whatever problems have been there for a year or two they will definitely continue without much relief and if you want to watch your uh, professor your mother what can you do what can she should do So we get the fourth house from Lagna. No, do that in Goa. Not to that. I need to go back to Nepal. Yeah, I went back to Nepal. You can also go back to Nepal. So Nepal is what? Jupiter is the uh, the fourth house is owned by Jupiter, right? Right. Yeah. But the thing is, not just who owns. Look at who aspects, etc. Who are affecting fourth house? Who has aspect on the fourth house? Let me. In the deep world, fourth house of Lagna is being affected. Mercury has 90% aspect, Venus has 5% aspect, right? So Mercury has the biggest aspect. Now the point, listen to me. From Moon, Mercury is the fourth law in the fourth house. So if you take Moon as the reference instead of Lagna, Mercury is the fourth law in one sign. If you take Lagna, Mercury is not the fourth law, but he is affecting the fourth house by 90% aspect. So if you combine both. Mercury is the key planet for mother, both from Lagna as well as Moon. So Mercury is the key planet for for well-being of the mother. So for mother's health, worshiping Mercury is a good idea. So if Keshu wants to worship, do some propitiation for mother's health, what he can do is either Bodha Kavitam or Vishnu Sahasnam Sotram or something related to Vishnu. Okay. So with that, I end the class. All the best to both the parents, both the ailing parents. After, after two of you. Om Sarvam Sri Krishna Panamastu.
ಲೋಕಾ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಭವಂತು ಸರ್ವೇ ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ ಜನ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಭವಂತು ಯಾವತ್ ಭೂಮಂಡಲೆ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮೋ ವರ್ಧತು ವಿಶೇಷತ ಭರತಖಂಡೇ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ